Hi, this is Deb Colling, and I want to show you how to create a proper MLA citation when you're looking at one of the articles off of the Jane Austen Society of North America website. Here we have a typical article. The important things for you to note are the author, the title of the article, the name of the publication, and the publication information. This is all you need in order to create your citation. But let me point out a few particular things. You will change the author's name so you have normal capitalization. The same thing with the title of the periodical, Persuasions Online. You'll only have a capital P and a capital O. The important information that you need to note from the publication is the volume number, the issue number, and the year. When you're dealing with the title of the article, keep the same capitalization that is used because they do it properly here on this website. Keep as well the italics that indicate the film title. Italics are also used to indicate book titles. And because this is the film, notice it has an ampersand instead of the word and. The book has the word and, the movie has an ampersand. Taking this information, you'll create an MLA citation that looks something like this. Now this app that I'm using does not do italics, but the keywords that will remain in italics in your citation are the title of the movie and the name of the publication. Let me point out the important information here. Here's the author's name which has been reversed with a comma and a period after it. The title of the article goes in quotation marks. I keep the same punctuation that the title shows on the front page. It's followed by a period and a closed parenthesis. Then comes the title of the periodical, Persuasions Online, followed by the volume number, a period, and the issue number. The year goes in parentheses, and because this is a web page, it doesn't have any pagination. So after my colon, I put N page, which is the abbreviation for no page. I got this from the web, and here's the date where I got it. Notice as well that I'm using hanging indentation. The first line is out farther than the subsequent ones. And also notice that I'm using double spacing. This is exactly what the citation should look like in your works cited page. I hope this helps you. Good luck.